forget the record snowfall, the Treasure oh, Valley experience yes. this last winter. Yeah. Mm. From plowing and snow blowing and salting and sanding and plowing and snow blowing. All of that. What worked, what didn't? Six on your side, Stephanie Hale Lopez tells us what some local agencies learned last winter and what we should expect for our very first snowfall. Snowmageddon, snowpocalypse, any way you name it, Idaho got a lot of snow last winter. More than 39 inches in Boise, double the city's average snowfall. And in McCall and Cascade, more than 100 inches of the white stuff. We were expecting snow. We always expect snow in, in Idaho. That maybe exceeded our expectations, though, a little bit. Meteorologist Jay Breidenbach works with the National Weather Service. He says La Nina contributed to last year's massive snowfalls, and forecasters are on a La Nina watch again. If the jet stream brings a series of storms in like it did last year, you know, we could see quite a bit of snow again. Which means snowy streets and roadways. ACHD has put many um, new plans in place to handle another winter like last winter. Adding 14 new snow plows, five new team members to tackle winter operations, and two new cleanup routes. Before snow hits the ground this winter, ACHD crews will dye all of this salt blue before laying it down on the roads. The blue food grade dye will show which areas have been salted, allowing operators to see their spread patterns. But perhaps the biggest news, the addition of residential streets to the ACHD priority list. If we have um, a large accumulation of snow coupled with subfreezing temperatures, the knowledge that another storm is on the way, more precipitation is on the way, then we will be plowing residential streets, including cul-de-sacs. Cities have reevaluated their response to a major snowstorm, too. We were ready for a normal winter. Last year's wasn't normal. The city of Nampa will spend around $82,000 on salt after using it for the first time last winter. We purchased a salt shed. We've purchased salt, so that's going to come in and be able to address the long-term cold. Uh, we're also working with uh, local contractors to get them to bring that assistance on quicker. Last winter, the city spent double its budget of $60,000 for contracted assistance, which deferred some summer street projects. We reduced the amount of chip sealing process that we did. We reduced a couple of storm drainage projects so that they could be pushed forward. We'll do them later but we didn't have the budget to complete them this year. All in all, city leaders say about $600,000 more was spent dealing with last year's epic snowfall in Nampa. It's hard to say just how much snow we'll get this winter, but experts say if you like to gamble, bet on a cold, wet winter. Slightly above normal temperatures this winter, that's still going to be cold enough to snow once we get into December, January, and February. Stephanie Hill-Lopez, six on your side.